in the name of Jesus every manifestation of fear fear of death fear of failure fear of unseen trouble let that spirit depart from your life now let that spirit depart from your habitation in the name of Jesus and every negative thing Satan is scheduling already to happen in the name of Jesus we change the outcomes by prophecy we change the outcomes by prophecy hallelujah we change the outcomes by prophecy I'm still praying number two our miracle service is next week but I believe that it has started tonight are we together I want you to pay attention there are people here no matter what you do there is a spirit that ensures you return back to where you started from listen it doesn't matter how far you go you are even afraid of your success because for as long as you hold something good events must happen in your life that return you back I want to pray for you that fire must come upon you right now as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus, where are such people in this place tonight? I pray for you. Shama soba lakata, graparike teberekotosiata, ebranta parikata. Everyone under the sound of my voice, be it ancestry, be it activities of wicked spirits. In the name of Jesus, this is the house of God. Be delivered from that influence now. The spirit that makes tomorrow look like yesterday. I curse it from your life. I curse it from your destiny. I say it again. The spirit that makes your tomorrow to look like yesterday. I curse it from your life. I curse it from your destiny. I'm still praying for you. Everybody speaking evil in the ears of your helper that before you get to your helper a wrong word has already reached before you before you get there people who would have helped you and lifted you because someone sent by hell said something to them I pray for you every counsel of Ahitophel by the power of prophecy it dies right now it dies right now over your life, your business, your family. It dies right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be sensitive. You're not wasting your time. Hallelujah. When Joshua led the people of God to defeat Jericho, a curse was placed there. And he said, whoever tries to rebuild this will build it with the blood of his firstborn and complete that building with the blood of the lastborn. And when you read that story, a time came when a nation came to try to rebuild it. And exactly what they said happened. Maybe some of you have made the mistake of Reuben. And many things happened to you. It may even be inherited troubles. But let me prophesy to you, let Reuben leave. The same way Moses spoke over Reuben and vetoed the prophecy that came. He said, Reuben, Jacob cursed him and said, you are my firstborn. You are my strength, but unstable as the waters, you will not excel. But Moses said, let Reuben leave. Everyone who has spoken against your life, I stand by the prophetic. I change that prophecy. I change that prophecy. I change that prophecy. You believe what you are hearing. I change that prophecy. Whoever caused you, I bless you. Whoever said you will not rise, I speak rise. Whoever said Nigeria will not favor you, I change that prophecy. Whoever said you will beg till old age, I change that prophecy. Whoever said your children will only eat from strangers, I reverse that prophecy. Let Reuben leave. And let his men not be few. The spirit of smallness that never allows you to expand 
experiencing the faithfulness of God, I decree and declare, may your hands be open for more. May your mind be open for more. May your relationships be open for more. I say it again, may your hand symbolizing your productivity be open for more. May your mind be open for more. May your relationships expand for more. Anyone waiting for your downfall will spend their lifetime waiting. Because as for you, the Lord is your glory and is the lifter up of your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will soon sit down. But every attack on the works of your hands, you will be mistaken to imagine that everybody is clapping for you when you should be receiving an upload. I pray for you. Anyone praying in the secret or in the open for your downfall so they rejoice. For you to go down in ministry, in business. I pray they will not only be disappointed, they will be the victims of their plot. Oh, may the curse of Haman come upon them. That the pit they dug for you, they fall into it. The Bible says, when Haman dug a pit, preparing to bury Mordecai, that same night, the king could not sleep. Whoever needs to wake up by God, so that they will avert the destructions that have been plotted over your life, your business, your ministry, your family. By all means, may the Lord of peace raise them and bring them for your rescue. Hallelujah. I feel like prophesying remembrance over someone. You have been part of the success story of many people, but you have not eaten from it. You are used. Many people today, they cannot finish saying their story without your contribution. Yet the reward has not come to you. I pray for you. May the book of remembrance be open. May the book of remembrance be open. May you be rewarded like Mordecai. May you be rewarded like Joseph. Rewarded like Mordecai. Rewarded like Joseph. Rewarded like Mordecai. Rewarded like Joseph. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every parent here, the spirit waiting for you to bury your children in your lifetime, we decree and declare that spirit is far from your habitation. Far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you tired of receiving? The Bible says, with wisdom are riches, wealth, and honor. It takes wisdom to be wealthy, but it takes strength to remain wealthy. It says strong men retain wealth, not just wise men. It takes wisdom to be wealthy, but it takes strength, capacity above the forces that attack you, capacity above the spirits that vow that you will not have longevity of impact. Let me pray for someone. Everything you are holding now, given to you by God, 30 years after now, you will still be holding it. Every honor God has placed on your name, 30 years from now, that honor will still remain. That proverb, Ichabod, will never be heard in your dwelling, never be heard in your ministry, never be heard in your business, never be heard in your family. In the name of Jesus. Alando Salika Prahosiata. One final prayer. I don't know who needs to hear what God is doing in your life so that they partner with you to rise. Can I tell you? It matters that men hear what God is doing in your life because that is how they will come to support you. There is a hear ye him anointing. 
that can sound the works of God through your hands to those that matter. Not everybody needs to hear, but there are kings, there are gatekeepers, there are captains of industry, there are people with the influence to help you. I pray for you. The same angels that heralded the arrival of Jesus, may they announce his good works in your hands. May they announce his anointing on your life. May they announce your business to the nations. Lift your hands and give Jesus praise. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community. This is a community of believers. We are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of God, through practical life applicable teachings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. If you have not liked this video, please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video. It is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the Word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the Word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our videos. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.